with Mayor Cory Booker. And let's just talk about because uh, I do want to pay you a compliment. Newark has made great strides, uh, great strides under your stewardship. You've done a fantastic job. Uh, and I'm curious, I hear these reports that you personally drive the streets at night like Batman looking for criminals. <laughs> is that is that true? Um, you know, I, I've gone on a lot of night patrols. First of all, the police have done a phenomenal job with residents. You know, we dropped the shootings 42% uh, over the last three years. Murders have come down dramatically. But tonight I'm actually visiting a night patrol where firefighters and police officers and city employees and residents go out in the community and really drive around the streets uh, just confronting whether it's people violating curfew or others. And it's been remarkable. The success is great. And so Newark's progress, we're actually leading the nation in the reduction of shootings and murders. Uh, we're a city that's uh, driving down uh, youth violence at a time that we're seeing it pop up other places. So I'm just proud. Uh, it really isn't Batman. It really is its collection of Newarkers and, and the, the, the rocks of my city that are just standing up for who we are and saying we're going to make some changes. One of the things that I think that it, you've proven is true is that if you keep your eye on the details, the rest might follow. You will, driving around, if you see someone, I've heard that if you see someone littering, throwing something out of their car, you'll pull them over yourself. Well, as you found out, if you trash the city of New York, you're going to have to face some consequences. So we've actually, uh, we've actually, uh, we, we, we just... <laughs> I'm trying so hard to be nice here. <laughs> um, uh, I've got more money in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, it, it really does start with a little thing. Yeah. And self-respect and dignity, and it really frustrates me if I'm driving along. This happened uh, just a couple days ago, and I see somebody throw something out the window. Uh, it shows that you don't care, and it starts, people think that life is about the big victory, but in my opinion, life is about the small acts of decency, kindness, and love that over a lifetime add up to transformative change. So pay attention to the little things and the good things, big things. Big things. So you see a guy throwing, if someone throws trash out, uh, out their window, you pull them over and you confront that person. Do they know you're the mayor when uh, you're confronting them? Usually they do. If not, I introduce myself. Uh, you know, I was I am the mayor. Bam! <laughs> I love it. That's fantastic. It's, 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 a, it's a good thing. A good thing. Uh, tell us, you have a, a charity uh, called Newark Now, and I wanted to get the word out on that. Tell us about it. Well, we believe very strongly that uh, there's wisdom in the streets and there's wisdom in the communities. And the greatest thing about Newark is its people. And so we started a nonprofit years ago that said, let's try to focus on the wisdom and the genius of Newarkers and help come up with ideas that can actually solve some of America's enduring problems. So if you go to Newark Now's website, we're doing things that other places in the country just aren't doing and making remarkable success. So from, you know, we have way too many. The land of the free in America has more people in prison than ever before. And this is a ridiculous game where people come out and 65% of them go right back uh, uh, and recidivate. So we decided to start a program for fathers coming home and saying, we're going to work with you to uh, actualize your love for your children, work with parenting groups and work with, uh, work with uh, the private sector. We have men's warehouse donating suits to the guys. And the success of this program is unbelievable. We've driven the recidivism rate down to less than 3% of the guys. So we think of everything from the health care program that you made fun of, which gives free prescription drugs to, to residents, mm -hmm. uh, to even dealing with uh, greening projects and trying to get the city greener. So it's a program that responds to what the grassroots is saying we need to do, and it helps to get them working on uh, you know, getting their 501c3. It helps folks get training and organizing and really building great organizations. And the dream is, that's happened, this is already happening, is that the ideas that we incubate in the city of Newark that show measurable and dramatic change can actually help to solve problems in the large area. Right, because uh, there's a, there, this, a lot of the cities in this country are in trouble, so things that work in Newark can work other places. Right. Let me just mention that it's, uh, the charity is called NewarkNow.org, and uh, it's a great way to get involved. Uh, we don't have much time left, but I did at the very end We've had a lot of fun. I think uh, we've uh, we've had some laughs, but we did want to be, uh, to some degree, uh, part of the solution more than part of the problem. So I talked to my wife, and she and I decided we'd like to make a donation to your charity, uh, NewarkNow.org, and then we got NBC Universal to match it. So I have two checks here for you that total a hundred thousand dollars. So this is for you. We appreciate you being here. There's one joke, and man, was it expensive. <laughs> well, uh, let, me, let me just say to you, the, the most powerful thing, and King said it more eloquently yeah. than I could ever, is that we're all caught in the inescapable network of mutuality tied to the common garment of destiny, that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Yeah. And so we as a people in America, and I appreciate you doing it, you know, the, the challenge today is not the problems we have in America. 
Uh, King said it again, the problem today is not the mean words of the bad people, it's the silence of the good people. Right. And I know from backstage talking to your producers, this is a show, and it's just not this charity. You guys do a tremendous amount of things uh, for people in America, and we appreciate it. And you also remind people not to take themselves too seriously. Well, thank you very much for being here. Uh, you, Mayor Corey Booker, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Very good. Uh, we'll take a break when we come back. Max Records is here. What about the house?